Hello teacher, my name is Aileen Cabrera and today I'm going to tell you the story of Alno Winkery, written by James Baldwin. Now I'll give you a short information about James Baldwin. Uh, James Baldwin was born on August 2, 1924. He was a writer, writer, essayist and poet. He's considered He's considered as, a, as the voice of American civil rights because most of the story he wrote was based on the social, social community problems. When he was a child, he developed a passion for writing and reading. He wrote a word named Go Telling the Mountain. That's why he received a claim and insights for his work. He died on December 1st, 1987. Uh, my story is an interesting story because it was based on real life. Most of the investigators, they say that they found a couple of manuscripts that prove that the story was real. And after the battles, a couple of years after the battle, they found a couple of people exactly with the same last name of Arnold Winkery. But um, for example, he found uh, um, a person named Henry Winkery, and the other one was Ernie Winkery. They say that it is possible that they could be relative. In my, in my story, we have different characters. We have Alan Winkery, which, which is the main character, which is the person that fight for the, the town, which is the person that sacrificed his life for the town. We have the soldiers that were the enemies, and also we have the town that are the people that fight for their rights. These stories takes place in Switzerland. Here is the story. A group of soldiers came from the army just to the decision of me, the people from this town, have slaves. They were coming to take from them the ships. They were coming just to build the town. They were coming to make a war. All the town knew all of this. That's why they gathered. They were coming from the mountains. They were coming from valleys. They were coming from everywhere. But the only that they have on hands was a stump, was a stump, was a steep and clothes. They didn't have any weapon to face the soldiers. Then the soldier were completely, completely armed. They were fully armed. They had the strong shields and big arms to win the battle. And one of the people from the town said, Wow, we can do against the soldier. But then the leader of the people from the town cried and said, We need to break the line in order for us to bring the battle because we won't be able to win if they keep together. That's why one of the people from the town, he shot an arrow, he, sh he threw a stone, he threw a stick, but that was nothing for the soldier. That was nothing, because they forgot that they, that they have a strong shields. That was nothing. And the soldiers weren't afraid of the stone. We're not afraid of the stick. Then the people, then the leader say one more time, if it doesn't break the ranks, the city will be lost. We will, we will lose our lives. Then a man, a man named Alno Winkery step up. He was coming from the side of a yonder mountain and said, Today, I will die for my country. Today, I will sacrifice my life for my country. 
even though I have wife, even though I have children, that they are waiting for my return. Today, I will fight for, for the country. And you, my friends, he said, do your duties and fight as bravely as you can. Then he said this word, he roamed toward the soldiers and he said, make a way for liberty. But he didn't have any weapon on hands. He didn't have any stone. He didn't have any stick. He didn't have any clue. He just roamed toward the soldier. And then all the soldiers started chasing him using an arrow that they have on hands. And just like that, all the wind carry broke the line of the soldiers. A hundred soldiers were chasing him in that battle. When the people from the town saw the action, they decided to start fighting with the only thing they have on hands that were stumps, that were sticks, and arrows. They fought for their life. They didn't have any fear. They gave the, the best of them. And at last, they won the battle. But unfortunately, Halloween Carey died, but he didn't die in vain. It was a battle that you have never seen before, but they won the battle. The, the tone of this story is solemn because it was based on real life. It was a legend. This story was a legend. The good things that I can understand about this story is at the beginning, when all the time fought for the rights. Because I understand that we must fight for our rights. And also, the bad points that I can see in this story is that Halloween Carey said, I have family, I have ch child, I have my wife that, that is waiting for me. And at the end, he died for the town. Oh, I'm going to give five, I'm going to give four, four stars to this book. Do you like the story? Of course I like the story. Because it gives you a good message, which was when Halloween Carey sacrificed his life for others. And also I would like to make a commentary about about this. The Bible said that the true love is this, when a person die for his friend, that's the real love. He didn't think about his life, he only thought about the town and his families. This is all for today, teacher, and I hope you like, that's all. That's all.